Hey guys, it's Marcus here, and welcome back to your Simple Sites Big Profits 2016 desktop software. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and go to simplesitesbonus.com. Get this software because you're going to get access to all the cool videos, bonuses, and everything that I show you inside this video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through the niche finding video. This is your welcome video to the niche finding section. Now, of course, as you just saw, you can get to the niche finding section from your main console. And what you're going to notice on this section is a list of words here in this box, a power search tool, the keyword tools, niche overview video, and how to find your profit centers. You're also going to notice a tab for the niche finding tools, tips on domains and hosting, my famous market flipper training that shows you how to take a cheap keyword and flip it for big profits, and my niche files where I show you all the different niches that I've tackled and how you can use those to kind of glean from the things that have worked for me. So now I want you to get familiar with this desktop because this is your niche finding hub. Whenever you want to go through and find a niche according to the way that I teach, you're going to go here on Simple Sites Big Profits 2016, niche finding, and the welcome page. The video you're watching should be playing right here and you should see the icons related to the video right here on the right hand side of your screen. Now what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you exactly how to use my trigger word list to find niche markets literally in seconds, run affiliate offers, and make some profit. It's a lot easier than most people think and most people just struggle because they overcomplicate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little overview. First and foremost we're going to click the open keyword tools tab. This is going to open up the Google Keyword Planner in a new window for us. That way you can click this and go through and actually find a niche while you're listening to how I describe how it's done and showing you everything. Right, that's the next best thing to actually having me there over your shoulder telling you what to do. So once we have the Google Keyword Planner open, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up for an account or sign in if you already have a Google account. It's free to be able to use this. And it's going to allow us to see exactly what people search for on Google so that we could use that to get traffic to our pages and ultimately make revenue with affiliate offers and products and things like that. And the way that it works is quite simple. We can either search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. That means I can use a phrase like weight loss or buy computers or something like that. I can type in a website like simplesitesbigprofits.com or I could choose a category like investments or something like that. There's also a place where you can get search volume data and trends. This is really good for when you get into big results and different things like that. And you can multiply keyword lists to get new keywords. What we're going to be using most of the time is search for new keywords using a phrase, website, or category. So go ahead and click that now and it's going to bring you to a screen like this. Now it's very important that you know what's going on behind the scenes. What does this actually mean? Well, what this means is that every month and every day of every year, Google is looking at all the searches that are done on its search engine and tallying them up as an inventory. For example, if I type something like, hi, my name is Marcus, right? And I type that in the Google search, that now looks for, hi, my name is Marcus, and it logs it as a search. So if I was to go to the Google Keyword Planner, it would say one person searches for this keyword. Now, when you get into popular keywords like weight loss, you're going to see that a lot of people type this stuff in. Okay, when we have weight loss here, we can find out exactly how many other people besides my one search today actually search for this every month on average. And the way that we do that is by going back to our keyword planner, putting the word weight loss in here. This is where you can put a landing page or product category. All right, we're going to leave everything else the regular way it is. And we're going to go ahead and click get ideas. And what this is going to do is it's going to search the database of people who search Google and it's going to tell us that the word weight loss on average gets about 823,000 people per month to search for it. So just under a million people every month do exactly what I did by searching for weight loss in Google and hitting the search button. Pretty simple, right? Now what we're going to talk about is how to get into the nitty gritty, the good niches, the stuff that actually makes you money. Because obviously the word weight loss is a good word, but you're also going to see that it's pretty competitive at $1.68 per click. And we're going to talk about what all this stuff means as well. But first I'd like to be sure that you understand exactly where these numbers are coming from. 
For example, if we do how to lose weight fast, we could type that in Google, right like this. Looks like we got a different one. There we go. Right like this, you're going to see that Google says, in addition to my search I just did, there's also over 301,000 people every single month that search for this word. That's what this average monthly searches means. Now, if you hover over this little icon, little graph thing here, you're going to see the Google Trends. That means today in January, there's an average for January for this word of 550,000. Of course, because that's, you know, New Year's, everyone wants to lose weight. February, it drops a little bit. In uh, March, it drops drastically, goes back up during the close to summer months, and then drops back down. So you can see how that works. Obviously, if you run your ad in July, you're not going to have as much inventory to get the traffic from. However, 165,000 searches is still a lot of people. That's over 5,000 people every single day that search for this. All right, so that's what this is doing. It's just looking at the inventory, and I want you to really get in your mind that these are inventories. Every single line is a value that Google is placing on the searches based on the number of searches and the competition. So if you were to look at the hypothetical value of the traffic, you could simply take 823,000 times it by $1.68, and you're going to get the value of that word per month. Now, because you're in the Simple Sites program, I'm going to show you how to make more than that, hopefully, right? That's the goal, so that you can turn a profit. And I'm also, in this video, going to show you how to find the super low competition stuff so that you can get really cheap traffic and sometimes even free traffic. So we're going to go over all that as well. But first, let's go ahead and take you through the different areas that you're going to see on your Google AdWords Keyword Planner. First and foremost, you're going to see the targeting section. The targeting section will show you where you're going to look for traffic. For example, if you're only going to do United States or only going to do Irvine, California or something like that, you would type that in the box. So if I wanted to do California, right like this, and save, the results are going to change because now I'm only getting people in California who are looking up weight loss. Next, you're going to have your target language, which is what is the language these people speak and who are you going after, and it'll give you the option there. We usually just stick to English here. We have Google and search partners. This is going to show if like they're searching on AOL because the results on AOL are served from Google. It'll include that. If you're just going for Google alone, obviously that's going to change it and it's going to be a lower number because of the fact that it's not including all the different syndicated search engines that use Google. Next, we have negative keywords. Sometimes this comes in handy if you're doing something like pictures or um, images or something like that and you want to, you know, X out all the dirty stuff. You could do something like don't put XXX or don't put whatever. Okay? Very simple. Or if you're doing mortgages and you don't want reverse mortgages, you can cancel out the word reverse or something like that. So, very simple. Okay? Next, we're going to do the date range. This obviously affects this little calendar thing here. If we only want to show things on average for last month, we could put that there. If you want to do compare, you can put that there as well and kind of look at the trends over more or less time. Next, we have our keyword filters, which is going to choose how you filter your words. If you want suggested bid only words that are like 10 cents, you could put a little suggested bid there and it'll only show the ones that are uh, less than that. You can also do this by monthly searches, add impression share, high, medium, or low competition. These are all just ways to filter your keyword results and find the stuff that fits your market the best. Next, we have our keyword options. This is a very, very important one because here we have only show ideas closely related to my search terms, which means if we have weight loss, as you can see from the search results, we also have diet, weight loss pills, lose weight, lose weight fast, and different variations. If I only wanted including the two words lose and weight, I would go to my keyword options and I would tab that so it only shows ideas closely related to my search terms. Or I could go and show keywords in my account, that's ones I'm already bidding on that are already in my Google AdWords account, in my plan, or I can choose different ideas and things like that as well. Lastly, we have our keywords to include. This is keywords that we want to include, things that like have um, negative keyword or positive or whatever. Very simple. Okay. Next, what we want to do is take a look at the tabs at the top. Obviously, we have where we search for our product or service, get ideas, modify search. We have our calendar here. 
We have our main search term here. You're also going to notice that it says average monthly searches. We already went over that. It shows how many people per month search for this. You got your chart, shows you your competition, your suggested bid. Now the competition and the suggested bid is relating to what is called pay-per-click search engine marketing. Pay-per-click search engine marketing is when you go to Google or any other search engine, you type something like lose weight and you do a search and you see an ad. You can see up here there's this little box that says ad, here's an ad here, an ad here, and on and on we go. Now these are what is called the paid search results. If we do mortgage, you'll see a lot of them. Got a bunch of ads here, a bunch of ads over here, okay? That means that if I click on this, Quicken Loans is now paying Google for that click. Very important. This guy, Wells Fargo, if I click on him, Wells Fargo pays Google for the click. If I click on Consumer Advocate, Consumer Advocate pays for the click. If your ad was up here, you would pay Google for the click. This is called pay-per-click marketing. Now don't get scared. There's ways to do this very conservatively conservatively and make a lot of money, which I'm going to show you. Now there's one other aspect to search engine marketing and that is the regular search results. You can see here we have local, which is just local results, right? You can see things related to Vacaville where I'm at. And then we have the regular search results down here. Now these are the coveted free search engine rankings. That means if I click on mortgagecalculator.org, that doesn't cost him anything, right? That didn't cost him anything for me to click on his ad. Why? Because these are the free search engine rankings. Now, before you get all excited looking at free search engine rankings and saying that's all I want, take a look at the competition because when it says low here, again, remember that's talking about paid search. When we're looking at free search, the competition is this number. So that means there's over 452 million people fighting and clawing their way up to get this coveted free rankings for the word mortgage on Google. Okay, really competitive. Now news stuff shows up good. We're gonna take a look at that and show you how you can do that as well. But for the most part, the term mortgage is really, really expensive and difficult to rank for because you got 452 million people. Now what we wanna do is we wanna find words with like 50,000 or 100,000 competing and I'll show you how to do that as well. So when you're looking at this, again, remember your tabs, your keywords up here, search term here, monthly searches. The monthly searches is paid and free search, just everything all lumped together. Competition is for paid search. That means for the word weight loss, they're saying there's not that much competition paying for traffic. Now, if we look for the competition that's trying to get the free traffic for weight loss, all right, we're going to see that that's 228 million. So that's high, even though Google says low, um, that's for paid search. The high is because if we're going to go for uh, the free rankings, it's very difficult. The suggested bid, we're going to learn that this number means absolutely zilch under most categories. For the word weight loss, because of the amount of ads here, you could probably get this for less than a dollar a click. So what you want to do, remember this is a rule of thumb, nine times out of ten it's a pretty wacky thumb that doesn't rule anything. So. Go with what I'm going to teach you. But I want you to look at those, and then, of course, your other keyword results are down below. And that's the basic overview of how the Google Keyword Planner works. Now let's get into our trigger word method and show you how to get away from these expensive and competitive markets like mortgage and weight loss and stuff like that and find a market that you can get into and make a couple of bucks or a couple hundred thousand bucks, as it were, under a market that the big guys aren't fighting for. And you could just skate in and rake in some profits in a really easy way. So I hope you've enjoyed my little video overview of the Google AdWords Keyword Planner and how to use it to find niche markets. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use this list of words in your Simple Sites desktop, the trigger word list, to find niche markets in seconds. Now these aren't just any niche markets because what these words do is allow us to go through and actually find out what people search for without a preconceived idea. And you're going to be blown away when I show you all the profitable niches that you can find in seconds using this method. Now, for those of you that are watching this from within the Simple Sites Big Profits 2016 desktop, sit tight. I'm going to automatically direct you to that video. For those of you that are watching this on YouTube, go to simplesitesbonus.com 
you're going to get this software, you're going to get the toolbar, you're going to get everything, and you're going to be able to watch the next video, which is kind of the creme de la creme of how to make money online. This is the training that is responsible for making me over $5 million and my students even more than that. So you're going to want to go to simplesitesbonus.com, pick up your copy of the software. If you like my training videos, it's a no-brainer. You get in there, you get support, you get all the tools and everything. For those of you watching this from within the software, sit tight. I'm going to direct you over to that video. Your icons are going to stay the same. Your video is just going to change. Give me about three seconds, and I'll see you in the next video.